things that stuck in my mind in that the, the freedom to operate is more important than the power to appropriate. That's, that rings true with a lot of people here as well. Let's get straight to the Q&A. Uh, I'm sure there are people out there who have questions for, for our panel. So, uh, Pilar, if you could, um, down the third row, there's a gentleman here. Please introduce yourselves before you ask the question. I don't recall talking about fish. You said that you checked the SQL implementation. I said that uh, uh, actually I did not, but the United States government did for a period of about 10 years, did have a, a project uh, to do conformance testing of SQL uh, products uh, for U.S. federal government procurement only, and uh, and it was it was their choice to do that, to to sort of certify that the federal government agencies could buy these products and be confident that they in fact conform to the standard. They stopped doing that, I guess, in the uh, in the mid 90s, uh, and the market has continued uh, to be extremely robust. I do think that the the, the government's uh, willingness to, to, to perform such a function early in the uh, product cycle of, the, of this then really very revolutionary approach to storing and retrieving data uh, was, was helpful in growing the market. But I don't know where the dead fish come in, so. <laughs> Yes, third row. Florian, we know you. Okay, yeah. Introduce yourself anyway. Yes, uh, 